Hello and welcome back to Nomad Gaming. We are working on Expedition Zoo in our third episode, and we are working on the interior of the Zoopedia library. So this video is going to be a little bit different. I am not going to do a time lapse, as you can tell. We are going to do updates. So I will do a bunch of work off camera, and then we will come back in real time and look at what I've done unless I think that there's something really cool or interesting that I want to show you along the way these updates will be pretty big so you will see a lot of changes happening uh, at once so it, there will probably be three to four updates uh, from beginning to end and hopefully that means the videos are going to be shorter and there will be a lot less music playing while I'm working. I will actually be talking the entire time, so hopefully it will be more interesting than the previous videos. And if you guys don't like it, we can always go back to the old time-lapse way of doing things. But I think that this is going to keep the viewers interested and want to watch uh, more of the video. So I am planning on doing a coffee shop on the inside of this library, and uh, who knows what else we're going to do? I really don't know. Uh, but we've kind of got like a cave situation going on here. We've got, uh, terrain that's in the way. So we're going to push all that stuff back. We're going to put up some interior walls and we'll see what we can make happen on this inside. So, uh, guys, if you are watching this video and you enjoy it, please leave a like comment and do not forget to subscribe and I will update you guys in just a little bit. Okay, here's update number one. And we've got a coffee shop inside the interior of the library now with some seating. And these are bookshelves. And I've tried to create my own custom bookshelf here. These are actually gutter pieces. Uh, the gutter, I think it's 0. 0.5 is the size. And I've just kind of put them some higher, some lower, some uh, in and some out, and then change the colors of all of them. You can clearly tell they're not books, they're not pages back here, but you can at least get the idea when you look at it from a glance that they are books. So I will go through and do the same for the tops here. And I've made this little divider here so that there can be either two lines of people or a line going in, line going out. And then on the sides, I'm going to put more small little things like this up on top of the counters here. Almost like after you get your coffee, this is where you're putting your sugar and uh, cream and all that kind of stuff. Even though I'm pretty sure that's what this is supposed to be here. But uh, we'll have a little more on the sides. Then there's the two trash cans. This wall is gonna go up. I know that I'm kind of going into the side of the mountain here, but we're gonna build up a little bit higher and put a roof on this thing. And then the plan was I was gonna have, <clears throat> well, I do have two bathrooms. I have one on either side. One will be for uh, the men, one for the women. But obviously in the game, it's not gonna work that way. They're just gonna use both. Um, but there's, I've seen these a lot in bathrooms where you have like an entrance and an exit or you have uh, male and female and there's one divider wall here so that you can't actually see into the bathroom that's behind it. But you would just walk around the center wall and then into the bathroom. So we kind of have that vibe going on here even though the bathroom is back in the corner and also the wall is closing it off so people will just walk through the wall. But Whatever, that's neither here nor there. It's still going to look and function exactly like it needs to. So I think, yeah, the next thing I'm going to work on is getting... I'll probably put another one of these out and extend this a little bit longer. I'm going to work on putting more books on these shelves. I will work on building these walls up a little bit higher and working on a ceiling... And then I'm going to do something similar that I did here with these shorter bookshelves, but much taller throughout the rest of the library. 
So I'll get to it and I'll update you guys in a little bit. All right, here's the next update. I have put in a bunch of bookshelves. Still no books on them yet. So the plan is you walk in, you've got a section here. Maybe this is the African section. And on the opposite side here, maybe the Indian section. And then you can come over here and you've got like South American animals and North American or something like that. So there's benches for people to sit on. And I'll put a plant in here. I'll put another planter over here and put a plant in it as well. Going to add some more greenery to it. Here is the coffee shop area. I've added the books in the bookshelves on both sides now. Uh, I'll put these planters in the back. So I think I need to add some lights that are up uh, coming down from the ceiling. <clears throat> and then add the books to this side. Add some more stuff that's up here, some more decorative stuff just to fill in the empty wall space. Still need to find some stuff to put on the countertops here to make that look a little bit more full. And then the plan is that this building is gonna be uh, almost like a walkthrough area so that people can walk I think I mentioned this in my last video I want people to be able to walk through the main street um, basically going from building to building or section to section not necessarily all indoors it could be an outdoor um, maybe an, an exhibit or something that's outdoors so I think what I want to do and it's gonna hopefully help these guests that are running this way and turning around is if I put an exhibition right here. So that doorway coming out of the library, I think I want to make the path go through here and then out into this section will be a peafowl exhibit. Uh, but it'll be sort of like a garden area right here with hedges and different flower types. And um, yeah, peafowls will be running around. And hopefully I can get guests that are actually in that area and uh, and walking through with the peafowls in there. And then that little garden will lead nicely over to the greenhouse that's over here, which I will show you still at a later date. So... Uh, this has just been another update. I'm going to continue working on putting the books in here and filling in the rest of this area and adding some lights. And we'll see you in a minute. All right, I'm back with the final part of our build. And this is going to be a huge cut from the last clip. A lot of things has happened since I was working last. And... Yeah, I'll go into that more later, but here is what we've done to the outside, first of all. I've kind of blocked a little square in here with this window and this window, and I've just put two of these white uh, tree sign pieces here just to kind of fill it in. And then there's two lights that are underneath them as well that will shine up uh, during the night and kind of give that a nice glow on the inside. So let's walk in and see what we did. All right, here we go. I've done some nice little modern lighting on the roof. These square panels and these lights here don't actually emit that much. So I've hidden in, if you can see, yeah, right here. I've hidden some more lights here to help with the glow effect and give it more light. But here is our library. We have four sections. We have India, Africa, Asia, and America. And so these will correspond with the areas of our park. And the only one that we're missing, well, 
I guess I've combined because I have like a South America area and then a Canada. And so this uh, America will just kind of summarize North and South America. So these books took a very long time to change all the colors and push them in, push them out, and kind of make some shorter, some taller, and change the colors of all of them so that it didn't look too rhythmic, I guess. And like I've copied and pasted all of them. I have copied and pasted a lot with these because they would have taken much longer otherwise. But it's kind of hard to tell when you're just looking at it like this. I mean, okay, so here you can tell that these were obviously copied and pasted. But then it the pattern changes here. So unless you're sitting there looking at it for a long period of time, you're never going to know. So what else have I done since the last one? I've put these art pieces on the wall. This just looked too flat, too plain for me. So I had to put something there. I've added, I try to add a few more things here. I'm hoping that we can get some more smaller pieces in the next couple uh, DLCs so that we can put smaller things here. But I guess fruit kind of makes sense. You can get some fresh fruit at coffee shops. Uh, I just wanted to add a little bit of detail to the wall. So I just kind of added this like pointless frame here on either side. And I've added these conservation uh, information areas here. It has nothing to do with the uh, with the coffee or anything like that. But it's just nice to have there. It will attract people. People will go over there and read them. I also have these signs here that just say book sale. My plan was to have almost like you see in... I would just say Barnes and Noble, I guess, was what you would have in the in the U.S. You would have like a circular tower of books right here, or you'd have a table with just loads of books on it, kind of in the middle of the floor, and those are like your best-selling books. And uh, that way people can just walk up to that, and they know that it's going to be there all the time. But uh, I'm happy with this. As it is right now, this was just taking too long and I'm ready to move on to something else. So maybe I will do that in the future, but I think it looks okay for right now. I also think I'll probably do something with this. This just looks kind of weird the way it is, but I'm not sure what to do yet. I've also added the trim piece that goes from the brick to the red bricked ceiling just to kind of break it up a little bit. And what else have I done? Oh, okay, so let's let's check this out. I have made a path that goes from here. I need to kind of fix this to clean it up a little bit, but it goes all the way out to where the center of our park is going to be. And then if we go back through and go through the other door, I have started working on what our next video is going to be about. This is going to lead to a Indian peafowl exhibit. And yes, I know we're going to have an Indian area somewhere else, but I was trying to think of what can we put here to kind of get guests to stop turning around and leaving. So I'm thinking that there needs to be an exhibit between here and the entrance to keep them interested and to keep them going further into the park. So my hope is that when I put the peafowl exhibit here that they will stop and they will look and then hopefully something else will be close as well. And so it will get our guests kind of going to all of the parts of our park. So the plan with the peafowl exhibit is to make almost like a hedge maze and hopefully have it to where guests can walk in with them as well. I will see what I can do and see what I can come up with for that. But you'll be able to walk through here, maybe steps coming down into the maze, and then this path will be able to walk straight out and into the library from there. And also be the same path continuing out here. 
I haven't shown this on camera yet uh, because it is nowhere close to being done. And I think I either forgot to record me building this or I just wanted to build it off camera. I really don't remember because it's been such a long time ago. But this is going to be a greenhouse and I have no idea what kind of plants I'm going to put in here. But it's just a nice little space to come in and check out the different types of plants and stuff that we're going to have throughout the park. Again, the uh, the paths through here will continue out further towards the center of the park and also continue out closer towards the entrance of the park. I have no idea what I'm going to build through all of this. Maybe I'll build sort of the outer areas of a park, so like the parking lot and a park entrance, and maybe that will kind of fill in a lot of the space, hopefully. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, this is what we have so far. So I hope that you have enjoyed this library. It is finished for now, the exterior and the interior. And we're going to move on to the PFAL exhibit next. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like and a comment and do not forget to subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.